You're watching Backyard Tech. Right, try this on for size. You're a bit of a petrol head, and you're an adrenaline junkie. One night, you get on the slops. You have a big night on the turps. While cruising around eBay at the same time. And at the end of it, you end up with a Thai taxi. It's bizarre news time here at the Backyard Tech Channel. This one, a man after a boozy night on eBay, ends up with a tuk-tuk. And he now plans to break the land speed record of it. From Backyard Tech, this is Bizarre News. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is Bizarre News time here at the Backyard Tech Channel. This one's funny at the same time because I've come close to doing the same thing. Believe it or not. This one again from my weird and wacky news story emails that have come in overnight. Man who bought Tuk Tuk after boozy night aiming for speed record. Matt Everard hopes to break the land speed record for a Tuk Tuk in his souped up Thai taxi. This could be interesting, couldn't it? Uh, the man hope the men hope the vehicle will hit 90 mile an hour. About 145 kilometers an hour. I think I've got that nearly right. A fanatical pet, uh, a quote, fanatical petrol head and his adrenaline junkie cousin are setting out to break the land speed record for a tuk-tuk after buying one during a boozy night on eBay. Matt Everard, 46, bought a 1971 Bangkok taxi on an auction site in 2017 and has spent £20,000 making improvements during a five-month rebuild. Now he's teaming up with his cousin, Russell Shearman, 49, to attempt to break the current tuk-tuk land speed record of 68 miles an hour, or 109 k's, at Evelington Airfield in North Yorkshire. Father of two, Mr. Everard said, quote, Imagine explaining to your straight-talking Essex wife that after she went to bed one night, you ended up buying a Thai tuk-tuk from a bloke on the internet. Um, now... If I had a rather large night on the turps, a big night on the slops, I had money and I hit eBay and ended up doing something similar, but maybe buying a big server or or another 80 series or, or, or another big screen TV, the other half would have me on a platter. <laughs> she, she'd rip me a new one. I hope his wife's fairly forgiving. Mr. Ever Everard drives the tuk-tuk around his hometown of Billy K. My UK viewers, did I pronounce that right? After the rebuild, Mr. Everard, who runs a freight firm company, hopes the tuk-tuk will reach speeds of 90 miles an hour, 145k. I wasn't, I wasn't far off. Uh, 145k's an hour. The work included replacing the original two-stroke 350cc engine with a 1300cc fuel-injected Daihatsu van engine. Good grief! He is a self-confessed, quote, petrol head, who at one point owned eight cars, two boats, a jet, a jet ski and a quad bike. Fruitcake. Holy moly. I'd hate to see his petrol bill. A tuk-tuk. That's like putting a V8 on a motorbike. That's like dropping a, well, either a 1FZ FE <laughs> out of an 80 series or a, the old 308 5-litre cubic inch Holden engine. He said his father inspired him. Sorry, start that again. He said his father inspired his own love of speed and owned cars including Jaguar, Ferrari and Porsche. His money must be good. Mr. Everard currently drives the tuk-tuk around his hometown of 
Billery Key. Billery K. I think that's right. My UK viewers, have I pronounced that right? In Essex. And says it is, quote, great fun to drive, close quote, if a little unstable. <laughs> a little unstable? This bloke gets a backyard tech channel medal or master of understatements for that. A little unstable. Why do I get the feeling that's an understatement? That looks like it's on the back of a V-dub transporter. His cousin will join him as a passenger for the record attempt on the 13th of May. According to the pair's charity fundraising site, Mr. Shearman spends, quote, his spare time jumping in and out of planes with a parachute or a wingsuit reaching speeds of over 200 miles an hour. Jeez, that's quick. The attempt will be subject to weather conditions. The pair are raising money for Haven's Hospices in Essex. Um. <laughs> well. So, you, you, okay, let, let's do a little bit of power to weight ratio here, right? So you've taken out a 350cc, dropped in a 1300cc fuel injected, four cylinder, oh, I think they're four cylinder. So that'd be like dropping in a, uh, oh, I don't know, a, a 1FZFE six cylinder into it, <laughs> or a 308 Holden V8. <laughs> wow. I tell you what, I've... I've we, we, you often hear of people getting like minis and that and dropping, you know, Cleveland 351 Ford motors in the back or Cosworth V8s in the back or something like that. But the power to weight ratio on that, I don't think the Daihatsu is going to struggle. I forgot to mute my phone. I don't think the, the Daihatsu 1300cc fuel injected engine is going to have much trouble on that. By God, that'll be quick. 90 miles an hour, 145 k's an hour. Watch out for wind burn. <laughs> I don't think that's going to protect you. I've got to say, I do like the roll case that he's put on it. I mean, <laughs> wow. Good to see it does have disc brake on the front. Just a single piston caliper, but, you know, that should pull it up. <laughs> There's not much weight in them. There we go. There's a bizarre one for you. Wow. Stick around. We're going to take a look at the iBook G4 coming up soon as well and a few other bits and pieces too. Have a good one, guys. Cheers.